Привет, товарищи! Welcome to my Mercy Sky. Today, I want to show you an amazing survival tool. The everyday ordinary multi-tool. Now, some people may wonder, what is a multi-tool? Well, the term multi-tool is just a generic name given to a single tool, like this or this, that holds and contains many tools on the same platform. Now, generally, they're based around a one main tool, whether it be a single knife, then a whole bunch of little stuff, or in this case, for this style, uh, a pair of pliers. Uh, also, this version, you know, that compacts like this, you can also get um, big scissors or maybe shears. Um, this particular version is pliers and wire cutter, which is, in my opinion, the best version of that. Now, I'm pretty sure that multi-tools get overlooked as being survival tools all the time. Uh, but here's some reasons uh, to perhaps change your mind or to strengthen your opinion about multi-tools. Uh, the first reason why you should have a multi-tool in your survival kit is the fact that it is very compact. Uh, you don't have to have a whole bunch of tools. It's all in one. Now, this is basically a force multiplier. Uh, reason number two, ease of use, uh, meaning that you can operate this multi-tool with just one hand, uh, or a quality multi-tool, to be fair. And reason number three, the fact that they're very lightweight. Uh, something like this weighs just a couple of ounces, and it does not add that much to your overall carry weight. Now, what's nice is there's many quality multi-tool companies out there, and many different models uh, to fit your specific needs that are available. Uh, this particular one, this is a Gerber, MP600, this is a military issue item, uh, which means that there's army surplus of it, and typically you can get it slightly cheaper than uh, other multi-tools at that uh, money bracket or price bracket. Now I'm not saying that Gerber is the best maker of multi-tools, not at all. This is just one of the companies that I feel pretty confident with, and I know that it works, always works. A uh, couple other brands that I would recommend is the Leatherman series and, and also the SOG multi-tools. Those are all excellent choices. There are a couple of things that you need to consider in a multi-tool before you buy one. One of the most important ones is comfort. Make sure that the handles aren't cutting into you as you're using the pliers and all the tools um, that you want are easily accessible. Secondly, how tight it is. This refers to the quality of the multi-tool whether or not you have uh, slop or no slop. Uh, again, this is part of the quality. Uh, you gotta make sure that everything is very tight fitting and it, something that won't get loose or something that won't wear out as fast. Thirdly, durability. See what people are saying about them, uh, track records, uh, unit um, product reviews, etc. And the last thing is the price. Now, I understand everyone is in a different budget, but I think a, multi, a quality multi-tool is one of those things that you can't, can't go cheap on. So if you can afford a, a high quality multi-tool, it's one of those things that you, you cry once, you buy once, and then you're happy for the rest of your life. And a good note, uh, most of these high quality manufacturers have lifetime warranties on the good multi-tools. That's all that I can think of, guys. I hope you like this kind of video. Go ahead and comment down below. Uh, share with, with me what you guys think about this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I'll enjoy seeing you guys next time. Пока-пока.